Alright guys, so at last my OCZ Vertex 3 has arrived. I've had it pre-ordered for about three weeks and I've been very much looking forward to its arrival. Currently I am running RAID 0 Vertex 2 SSDs, um, 60 gigabytes each. So I've been getting some, certainly getting some crazy performance out of that, but I'm definitely excited about installing this drive and running some benchmarks. And I'm going to be showing you guys all the results. So as you can see it's a 120 gig drive. I'll just give you a look at the other side of the box. Specifications there for you. Pretty amazing set of specifications, there's no doubt about that. 550 me uh, megabytes per second read and 500 write. Two million hours mean time before failure. So I'll get the drive out of the box and give you a look. Alright, so here's the drive itself. Fairly standard looking, like they all are. It's a 2.5 inch drive, of course and it's a SATA 3 drive so I'm just going to get you off the tripod and bring you in for a look so just two screw holes on that side exactly the same on the other side front it's got a warranty void of remove sticker and the SATA connectors. Okay, so included with this drive is 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch drive bay adapter, screws, and you get a sticker, installation guide and warranty. So, I'll get this thing in the system and give you guys some results. So I'll just give you the specs quickly, just so you know. Core i7-980X, Rampage 3 Extreme, Corsair Dominator GT, 2000 MHz, 12 GB. Uh, SLI, GTX, 583 GB editions. Fully water-cooled, dual-loop water-cooling system. Corsair AX-1200, Obsidian 800D, and that should pretty much do you for the purposes of this review. Alright, so here we go for some benchmark results. So here I have hard drive tune version 2.55. Now I also have results from the Vertex 2s that I was running. Now they were OCZ 60 gigabyte Vertex 2s and I have results from a single drive and also from RAID 0. So on the far left is RAID 0 Vertex 2s, in the middle is a single Vertex 2 and on the right hand side is the Vertex 3. Now you will definitely see some anomalies because I'm running it off the Marvel controller on the Rampage 3 Extreme um, and it's renowned for uh, a very bad performance so I am definitely not getting the maximum performance out of this drive unfortunately um, yeah because we looked at the specifications you know what the read and write should be uh, and I'm certainly not getting that read and write apparently the only way to get it is to use the native SATA 3 controller on a P67 motherboard now this is AS SSD benchmark and again on the far left is RAID 0 Vertex 2's, the middle is a single Vertex 2 and the right is a Vertex 3. So I'm not sure if you can see them all properly. I certainly can't so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Okay so I don't have any results to compare this to but this is Crystal Disk Mark. Okay so here I also have Atto Disk Benchmark. So zooming in, again, far left hand side is RAID 0 Vertex 2's, 
and you can see that's getting awesome results up over 500 megabytes per second well, yeah like five, almost 550 megabytes per second read so that's getting what the Vertex 3 should be getting that's about right for a Vertex 2 that's about maximum performance well nearly and the Vertex 3 look at the writes, they're just horrible I mean 190 um, megabytes per second is just terrible so the Marvel controller on the Rampage 3 Extreme is absolutely definitely no good for um, SATA 3 SSDs absolutely horrible so here are some more results from AS SSD benchmark so again on the far left hand side is RAID 0 Vertex 2's the middle is a single Vertex 2 and the right hand side is a Vertex 3 now I'm not sure if you can see these numbers so I'm just going to zoom in on each one so pretty poor performance from the Vertex 3 so that concludes my brief review of the OCZ Vertex 3 I just thought I'd leave you with a finishing shot of my machine the Singularity Beast thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe